Okay, um, I want to talk about two areas. Uh, one was uh, one area that is not up here was what was discussed earlier, the idea that we're going to be looking at getting involved in uh, or potentially getting involved in um, expanded access and compassionate use um, related projects. And so that's yet to be determined what that really looks like. But that's something that FDA is very interested in having us participate in. Additionally, uh, we've been talking about regulatory science education. So we're in what we call our feasibility phase. So we're going to be taking a, um, a look at what is the landscape look like, who's already doing what, who are all the players, trying to gather all this information so that we can put together a strategy, um, one, to utilize other partners, but also to figure out where are the areas that Reagan Udall can contribute best. So we're in this process, so this is just very preliminary. Um, and obviously we'll be working together with stakeholders, as we always do. Some of the ideas that we're talking about have to do with the CERCI program, um, looking at a variety of aspects of it. There is a subcommittee of the, um, I'm trying to think, the science board at FDA, I couldn't think of the name, um, who's actually looking at this and going to make very specific recommendations on the CERCI program. There are currently four uh, universities that are part of it. But the idea is, should there be more of them? Should they be more diverse? How should they work together? Um, what sort of commonality and what sort of diversity should they have? And so we have someone uh, from our board who sits on that committee, and we'll be looking at potentially how might that be coordinated for FDA. Training programs for different stakeholder groups, um, that's something we're in discussion with, what sorts of specific training uh, programs in regulatory science might make sense. Common curriculum for regulatory science degrees, I think Mark alluded to that earlier. Um, they're a little bit all over the place. We did a little survey and we saw there were over 35 master's programs in regulatory science and they really run the gamut in terms of how much regulatory affairs and how much science is involved. And so we'll be looking at that and helping FDA look at that. And then utilization of FDA training materials. We're trying to look at material that FDA already has that might be repurposed or put together in some organized way so it's useful um, to folks right now. And then uh, we were talking about food safety. And so this one's a little bit more narrowly focused, but again, still in the feasibility phase. We're still working with FDA to kind of lay out uh, what is the scope of this project going to be. But the idea is to create a food safety innovation initiative. And what we're trying to look at is you know, more rapid, sensitive, and specific methods to detect, identify, and quantify microbial and chemical hazards in food. And that's been a very challenging problem for quite a while. Um, they were particularly interested in looking at the IMED's public-private partnership, which we talked about a little bit as being um, a really good model for how they were going to assemble this group. And so we're working with the food safety folks at FDA to look further at that. And again, we're in the feasibility phase. So we're d working with um, looking at the landscape, stakeholder interest, and priorities. We've also invited, we have a sister organization at the Department of Agriculture that's been around about a year. Um, and it's looking like they may also work on this with us. Obviously, it's a common issue. So we're looking at potentially picking, again, sort of the IMEDS model. Let's look at a, mo let's look at a, um, uh, a test case or um, a project initially. We're thinking about salmonella and looking at rapid detection in salmonella. That is likely to be the sort of first venture into this. But the idea is that we would put this together, much like IMEDS is, where it's a program and it's ongoing. And so um, we would put, we would create a program that would be updated over time. It's not just one project. It'll be an ongoing program, trying to utilize all the different aspects of, um, of the stakeholder groups. So it'll be similar, again, in structure. Is there any Maybe on reflection, I would just add the following, that if you think about some of the problems that are faced by the population, food safety is a real issue. Uh, the opportunity to detect drugs which are in the marketplace that have complications are real life-threatening kind of issues. And we're trying very hard, and, and the uh, issue of how to deal with the pent-up demand for drugs that are uh, in various stages of development, but the patients want them, but there are complicated issues of how you provide them, safety, regulatory, and other issues. We've tried to bite off three or four, no more than that, things which we believe are seminally important to the population and to work for and with the FDA to develop information on how best to uh, help the FDA come to conclusions about how to help the public. That's basically what we're trying to do and I think in that regard uh, we're very happy that uh, 
we're getting a chance to uh, enlarge the scope of things that we can do. But in the end, we work with and for the FDA as the FDA works for the public. That, that's the general sense. So